Hey guys, I just want to thank you for clicking on this video. I have the millions of videos on YouTube besides to click on mine, so I appreciate that. Anyway, just like the title says, this is how to edit like a macro. Uh, first off, I'm just going to show you this little trick. This kind of, I guess you can say it's an exploit that lets you uh, just edit maybe like a pyramid or a floor like really fast. So maybe if you have trouble floating people or things like that, this will really help you. And this can be used on controller or PC, but I'm only going to be showing it for PC. But once you watch, you'll, you'll understand that you can do the same thing on controller. Um, there's going to be a total of three tips in this video. So I uh, hope you like and enjoy. I really appreciate it if you'd leave a like, maybe even sub with noties on if any of these seem interesting or help you out. Okay. All right. So tip number one for how to edit like a macro is super easy. It's just going to your settings and changing one by. So put a pyramid down. And I can just, I'm doing this, like I'm editing this. Obviously I could do a lot faster if you have faster fingers than me. But it's just, like I'm editing this without, what's it called, without having my hand on my mouse at all. So here's, here's what I do, I promise I'm not cheating, I promise. So you go into your settings, you go into your keybinds, and my edit button is F, and I select edit with left mouse button, but I also edit it with G, which is right next to my F button. So I'm pressing, F to edit, G to select, F to edit, G to select, F to edit, G, you see? And I have confirm edit and release on, so I don't have to touch my mouse at all to do this. And if you can do this really fast, like you can make it look like you have a macro. Like you see that? Like, that just means. All right, see, I have just F, G, F, G. So say if your edit button was like V, maybe you have it as like C, V or something like that, or if it was E, Maybe like ER or even EG or something like that. Just so that you can, without touching your mouse, you just. But I guess it's really useful for if you want to just like have a pyramid down here and like show your friends or something. And like you can do it super fast. All right, that's tip number one. It's super easy. It takes no time to set up. If you have any questions on how to set that one up, let me know in the comments. It's a really simple one. You probably do this one already. But maybe you don't. It's edit courses. Now this edit course specifically is so much fun. All right, radius 1v1v1v1 1v1 1v1 edit course. So you can do it up to four people, your friends, you can erase them. It's like, it's not like you're stuck doing an edit course by yourself and it's boring, you know? Now this tip, this tip, I promise you like, oh, edit course, whatever, I do that edit. This one right here, you can erase your friends. Or if you're like me, you can just do it four times. As usually I do, I do four times with each. So there's, there's an easy one. This one's super easy, it's literally like, like anyone could do these edits. It takes no effort. Uh, now this one is medium. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, just with a couple extra builds. A wall, wall, wall. But now I have to reset. Blah, blah, blah. It's pretty much the same thing. It's easy. But it really gets the fundamentals built. So this is the hard course. Basically it's just putting everything together. The easy and the medium. But I still think that's important to also do the easy and medium so that you can get the fundamentals down. And by the time you get to the hard, you're just flying through it. So for this last tip, we're going to do something called a CPS test. So what it stands for is clicks per second. And basically is what you do this test and you just see how fast you can click, which is basically essentially what your edits are based off of. Obviously, your hand eye coordinations important too but yeah cps test what you want to try to do is practice this as often as you can and try to get your clicks really really fast if you get it as fast as possible then you can also do it for then i'll also like you also see an improvement in your edits so like right now you see i got a rank of a mouse which is not that fast but if i keep practicing i can get faster than that and my edits will also become faster or maybe you can do this if you have like a laptop or something but say if you don't then you can just you can just practice this. It's the same thing. It's just because that all that thing is making you be able to do this faster. You know? That's all it's doing. Alright, so that's my tips on how to edit like a macro. The first one is like really like kind of OP if you can get fast with it. And the other ones are more to like just, just like really like grinding and improving to make sure that you can be the fastest and best editor to, you know, touch the game, you know? 
Like, definitely Raider, fastest editor on, on, like, the planet. Like, come on, boys. I guess there's, like, BH Not Luck and some other people, but, man, it's really, it's really Raider. Really, Raider's the OG, OG fastest editor, you know? So, if you guys like the video, make sure you watch it to the end, and make sure, not watch it, and we're already at the end. Make sure you like, uh, subscribe, and leave a comment. I really appreciate it. All right, peace, boys. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Not everybody does. They just see if one tip that they like and just go try it out and that's it. But you watch to the end and I really appreciate that. And I hope you leave a like and comment. Tell me anything that I could do better. Or to make the video like better to watch. And maybe comment rooster three times.